my name is Michelle Camps. We run a potato farm near Barnwell and in Vauxhall. Today we are in our potato field here uh, that uh, is about halfway through the growing season. We want the, the potatoes to be planted and ground in dirt that's warmer than 10 degrees Celsius and there needs to be moisture. Then when the crop comes up throughout the growing season we don't like cycles of extreme heat and extreme cold, especially not close together. We shoot for eight to 10 tubers per plant. And for the other processor that likes a little bit smaller profile, we shoot for uh, 10 to 13 tubers per plant. Okay, this field uh, was one of our first planted fields, planted around April 27th. This is a very sandy piece of land. We achieved row closure quite early. Uh, not early enough, we've had a lot of heat this year that has caused a little bit of damage and quality concerns with the crop that we have going on right now. The potato plant to reach full maturity needs about 16 to 18 inches of water. The machine you see behind me has uh, fairly modern technology sprinklers on it. It's got uh, the low pressure drop tubes. This particular pivot also is used for irrigating corn, so the drop tubes are quite high. When the nozzles, the application nozzles are closer to the canopy, the water doesn't blow away as much and it's gonna be more even for application. The research has shown that uh, irrigation like this is 90 plus percent efficient. It shows that we, the vast majority of the water that we apply through the irrigation system with technology like this is being actually used by the crops. Most of the pivots in Southern Alberta are equipped with technology like this. We use a group of chemicals that, that controls both broadleaf and grassy weeds. Quite early in the year when the crop is not even closed and it's to prevent uh, a disease called early blight uh, to form in our crop early on something that we as farmers take very very serious we don't want not just our consumers but my family my kids my wife we eat these potatoes too we want everybody to have a safe uh, potato a safe and, and healthy potato on their plate uh, for them to enjoy and, and enjoy today and in the future we walk the crop and we look at the canopy and we, we make a decision on the canopy is looking you know, still nice and green or the canopy started to go down we should add some fertilizer if we're not sure like i said we take a tissue sample send it away to the lab and we usually get the results back within a day or two and then based on that we'll either add or, or decide not to add any fertilizer so towards the end of the season if we feel that the crop has the capacity to do more we might mix a little bit of fertilizer into the irrigation water to give that crop that extra two weeks or that extra 10 days at the end of the season to bulk up we do incorporate a compost and a manure program on our farm where we add compost to fields that have questionable uh, levels of micronutrients and we trade land with several dairies in the area where they will farm a feed crop of corn or alfalfa on the land and then apply manure as they see fit and then the year when we grow potatoes in it we, we reap the benefits from that manure uh, even even a year or two after it's been applied.